Season 8, Top 14. Let's go! Alright, so your judges tonight were Nigel, Mary, Travis Wall, and the most useless judge of all, Carmen Electra. I don't think I have to expand on that. Moving on. Okay, so tonight they danced a boys routine and a girls routine, and the boys routine was choreographed by new choreographer Justin Giles. In fact, all the choreographers tonight were new, which was good because we didn't know what to expect when we saw them. Um, obviously, when we see like old choreographers like Sonia, we kind of have an idea of what the routine might look like, but with these guys we don't know, which is really cool. So, I didn't know what to expect, and the boys routine was so good. It was really like interesting, and it was intricate, and it was intriguing, it was just like, whoa, I words. Um, <laughs> it was really good, I really liked it, I was entertained for the entire routine, um, I didn't know what to expect, so many things were going on, and I was just like, whoa! Um, yeah, and then the girls' routine, I have a little bit of time for today. Um, the girls' routine was, um, sinister and dark, um, they were, like, in a funeral, they were happy because he had just killed someone, and they were, like, walking down, like, Broadway, but it was really, like, quiet. It was murderous, and it was quiet, it was, it was good, but the boys outdid the girls this time, and, uh, that's my opinion. I think the girls are good, like, obviously, they're the best, but... The boys did a better number. It might have just been because the choreography was better. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so first up was Melanie and Marco, and they danced a uh, jazz piece choreographed by Ray Leeper, or I think that's what his name was. Um, and this was really good. It was, like, very staccato, strong movements, and they were very, like, t -t 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 totally in it to win it. Um, I totally believed it. They had good stage presence. Um... I didn't know at the beginning whether or not Melanie could be sexy because she's really like always cute and always smiling and giggling. I was like, ah, oh, don't touch my ears. But like, she pulled it off. I was really impressed with her. And I think together they're like the best couple. Um, not the best of the night, but the best couple. I thought this was a really, really good way to start the show. Next was Sasha and Alexander. They danced hip hop, choreographed by Sean Everisto. Um, and uh, the judges did not like this. Um, I didn't think it was that bad. I kind of agreed with Travis. I thought the music kind of worked against him because the music was kind of corny, kind of lame. So, so I mean, like, the dancing was obviously playing to the music, choreographed to the music. So, um, I don't know. I don't think it's really their fault. I thought they looked like they were having fun. I didn't dislike it. I thought it was decent. Um, but obviously when the, the level is raised so high, this one kind of falls short and you're kind of like, oh, well, that one should be on the bottom. But they're good. Uh, I don't think the judges like Alexander, so I think they're kind of hoping that he goes in the bottom so they kick him out. But it's up to you guys. Jordan and Tad were next. They danced a smooth waltz choreographed by Tony Redpath. And I thought this routine was, it was about a siren and she was luring her victim. Because if you guys don't know Greek mythology, sirens lure people and they kill them. But yeah, so uh, I thought, I love the story because I love Greek mythology. Um... And I thought it was good. Uh, I thought they got waltz already. I don't know how they got waltz again. Uh, it's not even a common dance on the show. But they got it again. And I thought they did better the first time. Because this one, I felt like they weren't as smooth as like it should have been. Because it is a smooth waltz. It's not a Venus waltz. And um, I thought it was respectable. And I hope people vote for them. Because I mean, a smooth waltz out of all these routines might not be the most in your face. But... I still think they deserve to stay, so... Clarice and Jess went next, and they danced a contemporary piece choreographed by Justin Giles. And uh, this piece was totally different because it wasn't like a regular flowy contemporary piece. It was like kind of a hard-hitting, intricate piece. And from the looks of it, it might have even looked like hip-hop, but it was contemporary according to Justin Giles. So, But it was so good. I really liked this piece. I thought it was very hard-hitting and intricate and just totally they were totally into the characters and it was honest too and it was just the music was really good in this i want to watch it again because i feel like i might have missed some parts um and i like it when i have to watch a routine again just to fully like fully ingest all of that dance but um i don't like jess and i was kind of like oh why do i have to like this dance but i did <laughs> like the dance um and he's a good dancer so i can't like get 
I don't know, I just don't like him. His dancing's good. I really like Clarice. Um, yeah, that's all I gotta say about that one. Ashley and Chris were next, and they danced a salsa routine choreographed by Liz Lira. And I thought this was kind of a mediocre routine. Um, not the not the choreography, just like their dancing um, compared to everyone else. And um, I mean, the music was kind of, I kind of felt it was like elevator-esque. Not really salsa. Salsa's more like, I felt like it was more mambo. Um, I guess maybe because the song was called Mambo or something, I was thinking Mambo. Didn't really grab the salsa vibe for me. Um, again, though, it's hard. I mean, they're not ballroom dancers, so, I mean, you can't expect them to be amazing. But that's kind of what we're asking of them. you got to be amazing. So, if you're not... Sorry. Ryan and Ricky danced next, and they danced a jazz piece choreographed by Chucky Klapow. So many names. Um, this routine was technically really, really good. I really thought they were spot on. Um, they were in sync. It was strong. Um, they were in character. Like everything you ask for dancers to do, I feel like they did it. But for some reason, I didn't enjoy it as much as the judges did. And I don't know why that is. I just, I don't know. Maybe I just don't like them together. I just don't know. Something is missing. I don't know what it is. I mean, their dancing was good. It just, they're not my favorite couple. You know, I'm not rooting for them. So, I I can't fault them on their dancing, but it, this routine wasn't my favorite. What do you want me to say? Finally, Mitchell and Caitlin went next. And they danced a contemporary piece choreographed by Mandy Moore. And normally, now, when I start hearing Mandy Moore, I'm like, whoa. I've seen it already, kind of like. But no, Mandy Moore was like, Bam! I'm back! I'm Mandy Moore. Table dance in your face. Um, she was so, like, I mean, well, not she, but, like, Mitchell and Caitlin were so... Oh, it was so good. This piece was so good. The chemistry was there. They were honest, and they were there for each other, and it was... You really believed the story that they were falling in love, and it was just... It was so good. The music, and just, like, their lifts, and their jumps, and it was just, like, wow! And there was no props, either. It was just their dancing, and it was... So good. I thought this was probably the best of the night. Um, and it was so surprising because, like, you didn't expect a lot of the things that they did. Like, she fell and then she got up and was, like, around him. And it was like, oh, okay, you're doing that. Um, <laughs> so I really liked the piece. <laughs> okay, so that is the end of my review for Top 14. I think uh, Chris and Ash are going to be in the bottom. Probably Sasha and Alexander, maybe Clarice and Jazz, maybe, um, who else? Ryan Ricky. I think everyone else is safe, probably. Or maybe Jordan Tad, because he had a smooth waltz. Um, post in the comments who you think is in the bottom. What was your favorite routine? Um, if you liked my review, if you did, subscribe if you haven't already. I don't know where it is anymore. YouTube keeps on changing. Um, but... Yeah, I'll be back, to, not tomorrow, sorry, next week for your top 12. Wow, top 12 already. Where does time go, you guys? Honestly, like, look, my hair grows so fast. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? Um, so, until next time, peace!